rifle deer hunting season is finally among us, but while some are excited to hit the stands, others are taking caution. Well, a few recent cases of chronic wasting disease were discovered in Mississippi deer over the last several months, and WJTV12's Alex Love met with hunting officials and experts. Hunting families from across Mississippi head out to the woods Saturday, aiming to catch their first buck of the season. Wildlife officials are asking for their help. We're strongly encouraging hunters to submit samples for testing this deer season. And so again, they can do that in a variety of ways. Uh, it's very easy for them. And so uh, they can help us in this endeavor by determining where it is uh, and how prevalent it is on the landscape by submitting those samples. At 21 different locations across the state, hunters can find freezers just like this one near the Canton shooting range, providing them with information slips and and trash bags to put their deer heads in, giving the Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks a better understanding of just where this disease has spread and how much. The, the spread across the country has been through uh, what I would say is unnatural deer movement. That's actually human uh, movement uh, of deer uh, from uh, certain portions of the country to other portions of the country. But localized spread is going to be through deer to deer contact. One major concern is how this disease outbreak could impact local businesses working to keep contaminated deer from entering their stores. Other states don't want you hauling uh, any bones across state lines, so we're going to have to dispose of them in state. So we had to change disposal. It cost me a little more money, but, um, you know, it is what it is. In Jackson, Alex Love, WJTV 12 News.